Welcome back, everyone. We're back in Emacs today. Well, actually, in a browser right now, but we will be in Emacs, I assure you. Uh, we're talking about writing screenplays in Emacs. If you are a screenwriter and you're not familiar with Emacs, I'm just going to do a quick introduction. Uh, basically, uh, Emacs is a classic uh, plain text editor, of course, usually used for writing software and things like that, but, uh, you know, software engineering. Uh, but a lot of writers use plain text because, as I wrote here, it's, a, it's an open format, it's free to use, easy to get started. You know, you just open your text editor and you write and you save the file. Uh, it works on any computer, non-proprietary, cross-format. Uh, the nice thing about writing in text documents is that, of course, there are many different uh, delivery formats today, and um, it's nice having one format that can uh, be exported or you know transposed into many other formats. So, for example, if you're writing a screenplay in a text editor, you can export it to you know the final draft format or just to a PDF or whatever you want to see it in, and you have a lot of the same options. Um, but basically, the way it works is you write in a uh, a markup syntax. Basically, if you're familiar with with Markdown, uh, the the, the format called Fountain is what is used for screenplays, and it's it's very similar. You basically write um, in a in a marked up uh, sort of way, I guess you could say. Like you see here, these um, these two asterisks here indicate something. Uh, a line on its own would be action, and a, a capitalized line here uh, with a dialogue line directly beneath it uh, is going to indicate that that is a character talking. It's basically, this is this is the um, the various uh, conventions of this format, and uh, this is the Fountain.io website where you can learn how to write in this format. Um, and you can you can download the screenplay for Big Fish as an example. Let's go ahead and let me download this so we can actually open it up in the program, and that'll make it easier for demonstration purposes. Uh, okay, so now as I said, um, text editing, text writer, text writing is uh, non-proprietary. You can use many different programs out there. You know, there's like BB Edit, Text Wrangler, Sublime Text. Uh, we're using Emacs uh, because it's it's got some benefits right out of the box that some of the other ones don't. Uh, there is a bit of a learning curve, but um, not a big deal. So actually, we're going to go through the process of installing Fountain Mode, which is a mode in Emacs that is uh, specifically designed for writing screenplays in the Fountain format. So the Fountain format is not specific to any particular program, but um, programs will have different support for it if somebody has developed it. So Emacs has a a few things here you see it'll it'll highlight some of the text and do some other nice things for you allow you to do the exporting automatically from Emacs so let's jump into it here um, first let's open that screenplay I think to demo what it looks like without without any formatting so here it is you see there's some some front matter here you got your title your credit your author um, this is all giving you examples of the things that you can do. But you see here, uh, you can write like this. You know, you, if if you want to, if you want to write in this format, there's nothing stopping you. But we can make it a little more uh, user friendly. So that's what, why we're going to install Fountain Mode. So let's jump into it here. I'm going to move my my notes off screen here, and let's get started. Okay. So first, we're going to install the the package for fountain mode. So package, refresh contents, just to make sure we have the newest information. All right. And uh, what I'm doing here, for those not familiar with Emacs, is I'm hitting the Alt key and pressing X. That's called uh, Meta X in Emacs, and you can basically run certain functions and commands. It's like a command prompt. Okay, so now we're going to do package install, and we're going to install fountain mode. We'll click enter. All right, one file compiled. Okay, that sounds good. 
That should be everything we needed. Um, I may I may want to restart Emacs, but let's actually see if I can just turn on fountain mode. Oh, there it goes. So now you see it has this uh, this syntax highlighting here, which helps separate different areas, and it. Um, it has some other nice functionality, like for example, if um, if I wanted, say, I put in some some fake action here, I can go down here, two two lines, and hit tab, and um, so Edward is the only completion. But if you had more characters in this scene, it will auto complete the the character names for you. All right, so now let's let's save that, and. Let's actually go ahead and export this to a PDF. Um, this is, of course, uh, there's a lot of stuff you can do with this package. This video does not cover like writing writings in the screenplay format in general. I assume you might already be familiar with that. So we're just going to skip to the, the exporting part. Basically, you can see what's happening here. You write, you you fill in all of your, your action, your characters, your dialogue, then you, you export it. Let's export it to a, a PDF, I think. So it comes with a few exporting options uh, by default. Uh, let me see it. I think you, yeah, it's, it's, it's just like org mode. For Emacs users who are familiar with org mode, you can do control uh, C, control E. And uh, so you see here, there's some different options. Uh, in order to get these exporters to work properly, you have to have the various programs installed that do the conversion. So these are like um, examples, but um, I'm not sure if I have some of these installed here. So we're going to, first of all, make sure we, we have one. There's one called Wrap. Let me install that really quick. I might already have it installed. Uh, let's see, uh, which Wrap? Okay, I've already got it. So um, if you wanted to install a different one, you know, depending on your package manager, you would do like something like sudo apt install wrap or after writing, whatever these other ones are. But I've already got it installed, so we'll go ahead and proceed with that. All right, and um, so as I said, these, these are not perfect, so I'm gonna make my own. We're gonna customize variable, and we're gonna customize fountain export command profiles. Uh, so these are the different ones that, that it comes with, and you can see like this is the one for wrap. The one, that's the program I've installed to do the conversion. Um, and I, I can actually, I can edit this to get it the way I want, but I, um, I prefer to just make my own. So I'm gonna add one at the bottom here called um, Make Me Screenplay. Why not? You can put whatever you want in there. And the command will be wrap. PDF, um, this template replacement, uh, tech tech out, and then this replacement will be the output. And then, um, oh, so you can, I, I put in an option here to open it with the events reader, but actually what that does is it pauses Emacs and it, you're kind of stuck. Um, we'll, we'll do it for demonstration purposes, but you definitely don't have to do that. Um, sometimes it's just nice to see your output right away, and that will open the outputted file. So let's apply and save. Make sure we did it. Okay. So now it's Control C, Control E. Um, my option. There it is. Make me screenplay. So let's choose that. Um, didn't like my output. Try it again. Oh, I think I see what I did wrong. Uh, da, 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 make me screenplay. I forgot to to finish the command before before um, opening events. Want to get your bash stuff down? All right, so let's do that again now. Control C, Control E. Make me screenplay. Okay, it's doing the conversion, opening it in events, and here it is. So this would be your title page, Big Fish, written by John August, based on a novel. You saw how all of this was in the front matter of the text document. And then on a single page, you have this little description, which is kind of nice. It's, it's all optional stuff. You can write it what, whatever way you want. And you can see now this is actually formatted like a professional screenplay that you can shop around or do whatever you want with. 
and you generated it in plain text, very simply. And of course, the benefit of, of plain text is you have a lot of nice options for version control and you can easily share it and it's, it's easy to back up. You know, you never get stuck um, or locked in with one piece of proprietary software. All obvious stuff you may already know. Yeah, but, but that is about it. So we installed, uh, actually let, let me close the, the reader so we can get get Emacs back. Uh, so yeah, and uh, yeah, you don't have to open events like that. I just think that's um, you know, it's, it's an easy way of making sure you did everything right. Uh, but there you go. So we installed Fountain Mode in Emacs and um, started writing a, a screenplay and exported it. Um, I'll have a link down below to my website where you can just copy what I did if you want you know, to customize your own uh, export output. But otherwise, you should be all good. So I'm going to leave it there. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time.